So the way that we are going to provide for service clearances to be inserted with our block base MV parts is to modify the symbol block for those uh, MV part sizes. So in this instance, I'm going to use the gas-fired rooftop units as an example. So I'm going to go into the source drawing for that content. And I'm going to bring up my block editor and modify the symbol block. So in this instance, I'm going to modify the 15-ton unit. So I'm going to go into the block definition for this symbol, and I'm going to go ahead and add my clearances as I desire. So I'm first of all going to get rid of this because I don't want to see that. And then the second item here is we have lines that are outlined here. So we want to keep these in, but we don't actually want to see them when we insert it as part of our block because this is the same outline as the actual outline of the the unit itself. Now if we place these in, these are going to be on top of the plan block that's used. And the problem there is that these will override any hidden lines that are generated. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to take this, which is actually line work. I'm going to go ahead and delete it. I'm going to make a polyline in its outline. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete these lines. So now that all we have left is just one polyline. So what I'm going to do is by default, I'm going to switch over here to just a standard template-based drawing here. By default, there's a layer that's created uh, for rise drops here. It's called G Riser Standard No Plot. It's off and it's frozen on standard drawings. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this name and I'm going to switch back to this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that layer in here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to create that layer. And I'm going to take that polyline and I'm going to place it on that layer. So now when it comes into the drawing, it's going to come in on that and get automatically hidden. Because we want to keep this here as a guide for actually providing our service clearances. So now that I've done that, I can go ahead and for instance here, I'm just going to guess where I actually want this to be placed. So let's say we've got a service clearance here, let's say for our compressor and We've got another service clearance over here, say for our controls. Now, the important thing here is I can go ahead and I can set line types here. And these line types will carry over into the part. So uh, right now, we actually don't have a line type loaded. So I'm going to go in here. We're going to load in our line type. So I'm just going to load in hidden line type and just use that. So take this, take the line type, switch it over to hidden. I'll just add a line type scale so it looks kind of good here. And our LT scale in the drawing is a bit off, so I'll just set it to 24, yeah. So there you go, you can see that they're there. Now the important thing is that this is going to carry over, and also the color is too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this color, I'm going to switch it over here, and I'm going to drop it on color 8. So now it's grayed out. So basically what's going to happen when we insert it, this is the, these items are the only two things that are going to come in with the symbol block. So now that I've made these changes to the block, I can save it. And the changes have been made here. So if I switch back to my template-based drawing and I want to go ahead and insert that block, or insert that piece of equipment, I can switch over here, choose to insert the equipment. You'll see that we have right here the 15 ton unit so we've selected what we want it's still open here so it's not going to actually allow me to insert it let's close this here Oops. so we've made the changes now we can go back in here and try to insert it here So we can place it in the drawing. Now the important thing here is we haven't turned on the schematic viewing. So if I go into my display manager, because right now MEP design does not have the schematic display representation turned on. So if I go in here, I go to my MEP design plan, this is my current display set. I go into MV parts, you'll see that we have plan turned on, but schematic is not. So if I turn on the schematic view, so we've got two display representations active. Go ahead here and you'll see that this displays. Now again, the important thing here is since we put our outline to the unit on a non-visible layer, I can go ahead and I can place ductwork 
on top. And it's going to halo properly. Now again, the, this isn't going to halo itself, but you can choose whatever color you want to put your clearances on. But this should allow you to have your own content with clearances built in and displayed with the correct line type.